Hey everyone, my name is Gavin, and this will be a video on how to pick up a health pack. And once the player picks up that health pack, it'll send a message. And when that message is picked up, it'll um, recharge the health bar 100% if it's not at 100% capacity. So, um, and this will be this is gonna be a combination of just health packs and recharging. So, all right, I'm just gonna get started. So, to start off, what we're gonna do is rename this cube in the middle as player, like so. Player. I'm going to add a material to our player. This material I'm going to add is going to be blue. Then I'm going to go into our physics tab. I'll have Blender Game selected right here and give our player character physics and an actor selected. So we can see our player is going to drop like so. Right click on this light right here, hit X delete. Right click on this camera, hit X delete. And right click on this cube right here. Do spacebar and then add a plane underneath our player. So I'm going to do S and 10 to scale our plane out a bit like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, add a new cube, so we'll do spacebar and then add a cube. This cube is going to be um, have character physics. And let's make this cube yellow. And what I'm going to do is rename this cube as health pack, like so. Okay, now that we have this, what I'm going to do is go into game logic view. And on our health pack, what I'm going to do is display a property called health pack. Health pack, like so. Then I'm going to right click on our player, and what we're going to do is have if there's a collision with the property health pack. So if we collide with the property health pack with the tap selected, and I'm going to minimize this, what we're going to do is actually one thing I might change up, sorry, is I'll put the property player on our player, and then for our health pack, what I'm going to do is have that collision sensor. So if there's a collision with the property player, uh, with tap selected, what we're going to do is send that message first. Ah, can't get the right actuator. Message first. I'll just have this message be health pack like so. Then we're going to delete the object that we collide with, which in this case is our health pack. So the health pack is going to delete after it sends the message. All right. Now what we're going to do is right click on our player and add a keyboard sensor. I'll just put um, space bar for this video. And then add a movement actuator or motion actuator. Put 0 0.2 on the positive Y axis. And connect these like so. And what we're going to do is we should see if we hit the space bar, we'll collide with that health pack and it will delete. Let's now create a new scene. In this new scene, I'm going to call, um, let's say health bar, bar underscore scene like so. Hit 7 to go in the top view and do space bar and then add a camera. This camera that we're going to add, we're going to drag up a little bit. Hit 0 to go into our camera view and do space bar and then add a plane. I'm going to do S and Y to scale our plane down on the Y axis and S and X to scale it out on the X axis. I'm going to rename this as player health or health bar, something like that. I'm going to make the color of our health bar be red, like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that we can, if we were to scale it like this, it's not going to work because it's gonna, it doesn't have the proper scaling for a health bar. So I'm going to go into edit mode like this, click on the line select mode right here, right click on this far left line, and do mesh, snap, and then cursor to selected. Go back in the object mode and do object transform origin the 3D cursor. So we should be able to scale this bar down like this. Okay. Now that we have this, I'm going to go into animation view. So let's go from game logic to animation. I'm going to go into our um, health bar scene. Hit zero to go into our health bar scene like this. And what we're going to do is set the end keyframe as 100, the start keyframe as zero, and the current keyframe as 100 like this. And let's do I and then lock the scaling on frame 100 as to be full. Then hit zero and do S, X, and zero. And do I and then lock scaling. So we can see our health bar is going to scale up like this. But it's not going to play evenly because it's slightly off. So let's do key, interpolation mode, and linear. So now our health bar is going to play consistently from frame 0 to frame 100. OK. Now that we have this, what I'm going to do is go back into our game logic view. I'm actually, I'll set the frame to 100 really quick so it's full. Let's go back into our game logic view. And on our health bar, what we're going to do is add a game property, two of them. The first one is going to be the actual health variable. And let's have that be something like 45. 
And the next one that we're going to add is charging, like so. And let's keep it unclicked right now for false. And OK. Now that we have this, what we're going to do is add an always sensor and add a message sensor. This message sensor, what we're going to do is do health pack like so with tab selected. And the subject will be health pack like this. Connect this to a Python controller like so. And connect these like this. OK. Now that we have this, let's add an action actuator. Change it from play to loop end. Or, um, actually, property, sorry. And what we're going to do is put the health bar action. And let's put the health action right here. And I'm going to call this health bar anim like this. Um, bar anim to indicate animation like this. Connect this to your Python controller. Or actually, I'll just connect this to the always sensor like this. So it's around our Python controller. OK. Now that we have this, what I'm going to do is if we were to hit P now, we'd see the health bar would scale down a fair amount because it's playing the, the properties number, which is in this case is 45. And let's now create a script for this. So let's do a game logic simple like this. Drag this out and let's drag this down. And let's rename this as health bar scripts.py like so. And let's add this health bar script right here. Now that we have this, let's delete the portion on the screen like so. And hit control and scroll up to make your text larger. And what we're going to do is define our health back sensor. So health pack is going to equal controller.sensors health pack. OK. Now that we have this, what we're going to do is have if health pack dot positive um, and own health is less than 100. What we're going to do is have own charging is going to equal true. So we're going to set the charging equal to true if our health pack has been picked up and our health is low. And what we're going to have now is have if own charging is equal to true and own health is less than 100. What we're going to do is have own health is going to plus equal 1. And I just noticed right here charging was missing a G, so I'll add that. So if we were to hit play now, I might actually open up the console to check for errors when we play this. But if we were to hit play now, we can see it's not going to do anything. But if I were to set this variable charging as true, and we were to put this as, let's say, 20, we should see that the health bar is going to go up until it reaches 100 like this. And if I hit these I and then do gum, I'll select Blender Game right here. If I click this I and do game and then show debug properties, we can see in the health bar it'll display that number in the top left corner. But what we want to do also as well is have it so that if on charging, I'll actually full screen this again. If our health bar is finished charging, so let's have if own charging, or if on health, sorry, if on health is greater than or equal to 100, what we're going to do is have own charging is going to equal false. And we're going to have own health is going to equal 100 just in case it gets a bit over 100. So we should see if we hit both these eyes, it'll say false until it reaches 100, then it will equal true. Um, that's kind of odd. Oh, charging. I can't put in charging. So we should see it'll now switch to false once it reaches 100 because it no longer needs to charge. If I were to make this false, though, it's not going to do anything. And that's what we want because back in our main scene, we want to overlay that scene right now. So let's overlay that second scene, that health bar scene. All right, let's overlay this new scene, change it from restart to add overlay scene. And let's overlay the health bar scene. And we should see, if I were to connect these like so, and hit P, that health bar is there. And if I click up this health pack, it'll start the charge until it reaches 100. All right, everyone, so this is how you pick up a health pack and then have the health bar recharge with Python and the BGE. Um, I hope you guys find this very useful. And thanks for watching, everyone, and have a very good day. Um, I will show you the script just for one more second as well. All right, so you just want to make sure that when you pick up your health pack and the health is less than 100, set the charging variable to true. And if your player, if the charging variable is true and the health is less than 100, Set the health to charge. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.